Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your participation today. Today's is a session is a joint webinar with uh, Accentsoft. Accentsoft is a, a well-known VMS company. Um, our cameras are integrated with Accentsoft, and we have done multiple projects globally. Uh, so during this session, we will learn about Wisenet camera feed and Accentsoft functionality and features. So for today's uh, session is we start with uh, Hanwha. We start with uh, Hanwha's presence in Kenya market and the key technologies. We, we may not be able to cover A to Z, but we'll cover the key important technologies within the Hanwha WiseNet cameras. AI which is the artificial intelligence. As you know, there's a lot of demand, there's a lot of uh, hype, and there is a lot of interest on the AI functionality. So what you will hear is AI inside the camera. Of course, there are uh, options where you have AI in the software. Um, uh, the key takeaway is uh, the AI cameras uh, built in, or the intelligence is on the edge. Uh, whereas if uh, customers use a software based uh, use it for existing installations where they where the cameras are not intelligent so uh, both are available uh, so we will talk about that today and then we will talk about our new wisenet 7 chipset uh, the focus of wisenet 7 chipset is on the image quality and cyber security which again you will learn more um, uh, Mr. Joseph Maremba uh, from Accentsoft, who will uh, take you in detail about Accentsoft uh, VMS uh, features. And uh, we'll end with a Q&A session, so feel free to post your questions in the Q&A uh, window or in the chat. So uh, what you see here is, uh, who is Hanwha? There is there are people who joined the webinar. So for those who are new, Hanwha is a Fortune 500 company. Uh, well, uh, another way to put forward is it is the eighth largest company in South Korea. So it is a South Korean company. We manufacture end to end when it comes to cameras, uh, servers, VMS, control room monitors, access control. We have an end to end profile. Um, our key uh, product is the cameras. And uh, as a global company, we are ranked 261. Um, companies put together in Middle East, Africa, Russia, all put together the top 500 companies in the world. So we are among the top 500. Um, our uh, uh, rankings such as, uh, uh, I mean, uh, if you compare our rankings with other uh, VMS companies or, or, or sorry, other uh, brands, uh, you will see that Hanwha is actually bigger than Honeywell, or uh, bigger than Schneider Electric. Uh, but the reason why you might not be with Hanwha is probably because they are uh, new in CCTV by purchasing another well-known CCTV company, which you are familiar with, that is Samsung. So Hanwha acquired Samsung CZ Vision, and uh, into uh, and uh, and the products that we sell has been rebranded as WiseNet. However, the people are the same, um, the uh, product factory is the same, the offices, everything is the same. So we assure this same quality and even further all the products that you see here all the project references that you see are based on uh, hanwa brand all right so uh, we began in uh, or in the beginning we started as a samsung techwin in the year 1991 uh, as you can see this is our office head office in south korea and we were well known in the analog days. We made our own lenses, we made our own chipset, we made the world's first PTZ cameras. Um, in uh, 2015, a key acquisition happened that is Hanwha Group purchased Samsung Group, uh, the CCTV part, and the same building is now rebranded as Hanwha. 
All right. So all the products that you see, the AI cameras, the artificial intelligence cameras, uh, the 55 XPDZ cameras, uh, the Q and X series, all these were released after the acquisition. So we still continue to develop world class products. Um, references speak for themselves. So we have uh, one of the largest references is Musharraf in Qatar with 10,000 cameras. Expo 2020, this is in uh, Middle East, Dubai with 6,000 cameras. Uh, one of the recent additions to our project references is uh, Bank Al Jazeera, which is uh, in Saudi Arabia with 4,500 cameras. Apart from this, uh, we have uh, projects in different verticals, even railways. We have even presence in the Kenya Railway. Um, so Riyadh Metro, 4,000 cameras. Um, now my colleague will uh, quickly brief you on the Kenya references. Mr. Morris. Uh, good morning, everyone. So my name is Morris, uh, in Kenya. So um, in, the met in the transport uh, industry, the Metropolitan Nairobi Railway, where we cover, we have wireless cameras. We also have in the financial sector, where we have the uh, Equity Bank. Uh, Equity Bank. Yes. Um, uh, next slide, please. Where we have uh, Equity Bank and the Ministry of uh, Finance, so it's also in the finance vertical. We uh, we, we are very well uh, vast. We also have uh, in the also Kenya in Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation. We've done our projects there. This is just to name a few of the projects that we we, we have covered here in the region and in Kenya. So also in government, we've done the Finance Reporting Center done a project there. So in terms of government, uh, I've covered the transport industry, government, and also uh, in mall, we've done the Galeria Mall uh, here in Nairobi, um, which, which has a wise wiseness solution. Also in, in the schools vertical, we've done Kenya School of Government. Um, <coughs> sorry, we've done the Kenya School of Government and deployed our solutions uh, here in the region. Uh, we've done our solution, um, at the Odyssey, which is in West Coast, 43 Road, um, uh, pure wise solution. And also, if we, in terms of industry, we've also covered uh, our cameras of Alpha Channel, uh, what we will cover later, IP, high IP rating. We've done trigger chemicals of pure wise net solution, uh, which covers in the even high um, uh, critical areas or sensitive areas where you have chemicals and all that. So back to you, Samuel. Okay, thank you. I will hand over to my colleague Ruan, based in South Africa, to cover the key technologies. Perfect. Thank you, Samuel. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ruan Finter. Uh, I'll be covering, like Samuel said, some of the core technologies, as well as uh, some AI and uh, various other offers we, we do offer. So I just want to quickly get this slide going. Uh, my apologies for that. Perfect. So as uh, Samuel has mentioned, we are a manufacturer of end-to-end -end security solutions. This means we manufacture cameras, lenses, mounts, DVRs, NVRs, monitors, joysticks, servers. We do software. We do video walls. We also have access control with all the peripherals, readers, controllers, and the associated software and the like. And because we manufacture our own products or our own solutions end to end, we come out with a product that's designed, manufactured, and um, works well together. And our hardware and software work together in harmony within our products. We um, develop our own. Uh, hardware, so the, the casing, the outside, the lenses, the video analytics intelligence, the software, the chipsets, and we'll talk about the chipset going further as well. So all of that works seamlessly together to improve the outcome or the output of this product. Talking about the, the wise chipset, 
Uh, the first chipset was launched in 2010 and, and it was continued to improve from there. And we've recently launched the 2020 or the WiseNet 7 chipset in 2020, um, literally about a month or so ago. Um, the main advantage of this chipset is that it gives us the processing capabilities to process pretty much anything. So from advanced analytics running simultaneously on the camera on the edge um, to extreme things like WDR, um, low light performance, image distortion correction, multiple uh, profiles, so multiple streams from one camera, um, you know, network transmission encoding protocols and so forth. So this really put us in, in a very competitive segment when it comes to performance on our camera. And uh, as I said, we, we give uh, one of the highest WDR standards in the market. So we can do 60 frames per second on 120 decibels or 30 frames per second on 150 decibels of wide dynamic range. And uh, just a bit of a background on wide dynamic range. So wide dynamic range is the ability to take a uh, overexposed image and an underexposed image and combine those to give you a clear view of um, high and low image qualities or, or darknesses. And this gives you a clearer image in, in general. A very important feature to have, especially specifically indoors. Um, then also we have a very uh, competitive uh, camera when it comes to low light environments. Uh, our low light technology gives us the ability to view uh, color images in very low light environments. We also have a very competitive highlight compensation, um, which basically allows us to mask a headlight or a sharp shining light object and take away the glare of that object. This allows you to then further enhance the image and then see things like, for instance, the number plate in this uh, example right here. We also have a widescreen 2 technology, which really dramatically improves the, the storage as well as the streaming um, or network uh, stream on, on a camera. So your network runs more smoothly and your storage is not, uh, is, isn't needed to be that high. And based, of course, on certain compressions and dual stream two technology. We also have digital image stabilizations on our cameras, which gives you the best possible image, even when a camera is moving with wind capabilities or shaking for whatever reason. And as we said, one of the main improvements on our WiseNet 7 is the image quality. And uh, this is dramatically improved with the new WiseNet 7 chipset. Let's have a look at the built-in analytics. So before we even go too, too far into the analytics, it's important to know that these analytics are all run on the edge, which means the camera does the processing of the analytics and uh, basically then just sends the information from there. Uh, of course, the WiseNet 7 chipset is very much involved with processing these analytics and it's because of a, it's a very strong chipset like that that we are able to do um, these type of analytics. The main reason for these analytics, of course, is to reduce false alarms. And as you would know, conventional analytics or pixel-based motion detection is very false detection. Like it, it usually detects things like shadows and trees and mismatches people, multiple people to be one, or even misses a person completely. With our P-series IR cameras, we've got the ability to accurately detect a person and based on its attributes. So it knows a person because it looks at its attributes. <coughs> attributes meaning uh, legs, uh, you know, the shape of a person, the way it moves. So the, all those uh, artificial intelligence is built into the camera so it can actively detect a person and accurately detect it. If you look at this example, you'll see there's a lot of false detection within the waves. And even though we are looking for people, it's seeing movement in the waves. This is because the amount of pixel-based motion that a human makes in this scene is roughly equivalent to the movement within that waves. And that allows it to then falsely detect people within the waves. 
On the right hand side, the deep learning knows what a person looks like based on its attributes, and therefore there's no detection on any other movement of any area. Of course, we don't just detect people, we also detect vehicles, number plates, uh, faces, and various other attributes, which we'll have a look at just now. A great feature we have alongside these AI cameras is a feature called Best Shot. So Best Shot allows us to look for the entire video clip of each region of interest, which would be a car or a vehicle in this uh, example. It would then take the entire time that this vehicle has been in the field of view and then give you the best snapshot image of that specific vehicle on each and every vehicle, number plate, person, face, and so forth. Like I said, we don't just look for people or vehicles. We can determine the color and type of a vehicle. We can, of course, detect people and also see their genders. On a face, we can see the age group as well as whether a person is wearing glasses or not. We can also detect whether a, or what the color of the top and bottom clothing are and whether a person is wearing, uh, carrying a bag or not. We also have various other video analytics built into our X series. And again, this runs on the edge on the processing chip of that actual camera. So we've got various analytics like uh, appear, disappear, loitering, motion detection, face detection, tampering detection, fog detection, uh, business intelligence such as people counting, uh, queue management, heat maps. Uh, we've also got virtual lines, enter and exit analytics, as well as sound analytics, where you can detect an, or create an alarm based on a glass breaking, a scream, a gunshot or explosion. Of course, these analytics are all subject to the correct model. Just a more visual um, approach to the analytics, so we can do direction detection based on lines, intrusion detection based on an area, as well as enter and exit detection based on an area. We can detect loitering, appear and disappear time within a defined area, as well as face detection and various other tamper type detections like face, uh, defocus detection, fog detection, um, you know, covering of covering up of a lens detection, um, and then of course motion detection as well. Another great feature also is the handover capability, where a static camera can be looking at a scene and then call a PTZ to zoom in and investigate further. Basically, hand over the incident to the PTZ, for instance, or any other camera for that matter. Motion detection and over basically works from camera to camera, so there's no uh, network delay from a server side. The camera talks directly to the IP address of the second camera to call it directly and investigate further. Of course, having advanced uh, analytics is not, uh, it's not only for security. We also have business intelligence, as I mentioned earlier. And because we now have AI chipsets uh, which accurately detect a person from uh, from any angle, pretty much because it knows its attributes, we don't have to do people counting from conventional overhead cameras. We can now use one camera to view from a overview angle and use it for security as well as business intelligence, such as people counting, heat maps, or queue management. This business intelligence gets sent to a system called Retail Insight. Retail Insight is run, uh, runs in the background to gather all the information of the people visiting the location of that store or a re region of stores. This gets displayed on a dashboard where you can see things like age and gender, um, certain uh, age groups, and you can then, of course, search and pull reports based on these facts. Of course, we also have uh, COVID-19 combat solutions where we do occupancy monitoring and mask detection. These uh, obviously is currently very uh, in very high demand, and we are very pleased that we also have a solution that plays within this market. So let's quickly have a look at the product lineup. We have four main series. 
starting with, let's start with Q, being our quality entry level cameras. We then go up to a versatile range of X series, extreme performance. We also have a P series, which is a premium series, which basically uh, use 4K and multi sensor cameras, or consists of those. And then we also have vertical specific cameras, which are denoted as T range. This is explosion proof cameras, positioning cameras, thermal cameras, and the like. Of course, the features and benefits of these cameras vary based on each of those marketing segments. We also have an analog uh, range as well as a video management software called SSM, which all of these analytics uh, can talk to without, you know, without any licensing or any, um, any other necessities. It's all based on one product, so it talks to each other seamlessly. We also have video recorders, NVRs, DVRs, as well as access control systems to uh, ensure your security is complete. Let's have a quick look at some of the 4K cameras. So we have 4K cameras in basically every form that you would expect. So we have normal bullets, vandal bullets, uh, sorry, vandal guns, uh, bullet cameras, PTZs, fish eyes, and also multi-sensor cameras. These multi-sensor cameras can come in a range of different types. So we can have panoramic cameras, 180, 270, 360 even, um, as well as multi-directional cameras. These cameras give you a great overview and a very wide angle. These multi-directional cameras are very useful when it comes to uh, looking into different directions. Um, it just basically gives you the ability to combine four different cameras into one camera. We have two megapixel and five megapixel variants of this model, so it depends on your re image resolution, depends on what camera you choose. We also have multi-directional cameras combined with a PTZ camera, as you see here, and this gives you the, I would say, the best of both worlds. Uh, this allows you to actively monitor the entire scene with an investigative PTZ tied into the mix. This is great for, uh, in, for overhead um, investigations and uh, as I said, this, this is also of course linked to the, or has the analytics on board to, uh, to actively monitor events as well as obviously PTZ uh, functions like preset locations and, and so forth. All these cameras being multi-sensors only use one IP address and this means that we can have all these cameras uh, talk to a VMS system or a uh, well, or just access it by one, e one IP address. Um, but the main benefit with this one IP address and one MAC address is basically that it would require only one not license when taking it into another VMS system. Similarly, we have encoders, which use the same logic, so only one network port with one IP address, so just one license would be needed. And that brings me to the end of my presentation. As Samuel said, there's much more to talk about, but we have limited time, and that's just a quick brief overview of what it is. I'll be handing over to my uh, colleague at Axonsoft now. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Uh, so good morning. So I'll just do the next part of the presentation. Um, so my name is Joseph from Microsoft. So I'll just walk you through our product, uh, our references, and our core technologies. So that's the history of Microsoft. So uh, headquartered in Moscow, and we are quite a global company with a presence in fifty countries. Uh, at least monthly, we do more than 2,000 installations every month. So we have a quite a huge presence in terms of uh, installations in the market. Um, when it comes to the USSR region, we have more than 70% market share in that region. And so we are quite, quite huge. So as of today, uh, in terms of EMEA market, so we have presence, of course, in the UAE. Uh, we have an office in uh, Dubai. Uh, 
uh, we have an office as well in um, uh, Saudi Arabia. When it comes to Africa, we are in Morocco, uh, we are in Tunisia, we are in uh, East Africa, where I am based, in Nigeria, in South Africa. And so basically, we are, you can find uh, we have operations in more than 100 countries, and so we have a presence almost everywhere in the, in the globe. So we have three products. So one of them, of course, is Axonext, which will really major in this presentation. So it's a basically a video management platform. We have Axonet, uh, which we are offering as a cloud platform uh, for service providers. And we have Axon Intellect, which is an integration platform. We are talking of uh, integrating multiple systems into one uh, platform. So I'll just talk about uh, some case studies that we have so that you can have a view of who we are. So um, the case study I'm showing you is for Safaricom. So it's the largest uh, research project in Africa uh, with more than 10,000 cameras in phase one, projecting growth of up to 100,000 cameras in five years. So this will be the largest surveillance project in Africa. So Agronsoft uh, partnering with Safaricom for this project. Uh, we have also done Safe City Moscow, which is the largest also uh, in terms of number of cameras. So it has around 300,000 surveillance systems in that project, all powered by Axon software. We also done the Euro 2012. Uh, all the stadiums in Ukraine were secured with Axon soft. We've done Pan American Highway as well as a reference in the US. Uh, we also did the 2018 FIFA World Cup, so we were contacted by FIFA to secure all their stadiums, the hotels, the fan areas. So Agonsoft was the FIFA partner for the World Cup as well. In the UAE, we have done the Dubai World Trade Center. So the Dubai World Trade Center is uh, powered by Agonsoft as well. Atlantis the Palm, both the old and the new, also powered by Agonsoft as a reference in the UAE. Um, it is a lot, of course, is a research project in the UAE, one of the largest uh, globally as well. So it has an estimation of 200,000 channels uh, globally uh, to grow. So we are currently partners with it is a lot. We are building the cloud platform already selling in the UAE for it is a lot. So this is also a huge project in the UAE uh, powered by Axon Software as well. I uh, also done the Mexico airport as well, uh, commissioned uh, and uh, working very well. Of course, in East Africa, of course, uh, where I'm based, we have a reference with Taskis. Uh, we have done, uh, uh, we are securing uh, their stores, Treasury of Kenya, NHIF, also doing a project, of course, with MT Group, Kenya Railways, Songas Power, DTB, CDC, Ecobank, Sabis, FDB, Kagil, Coca Cola, Radisson Blue, of course, and of course, Safaricom. Um, I mentioned Treasury of Kenya, so this is how the control room looks like. So this is the control room of the Treasury of Kenya. So the video wall uh, is just uh, they're using uh, Axon Video Wall 2.0. So the video wall is uh, all Axon, Axon based. It's a very uh, old uh, working project uh, with all uh, Axon analytics, Axon features. Of course, in this project, we are using uh, the hardware cameras in the Treasury project, but the front end and the application powering the cameras is Axon Express software as well. So I mentioned we have three projects, uh, three products, but I'll, in this, I'll just talk about the VMS part, but I just mentioned about the features of uh, Agazon Intellect, which is an integration platform. So in it, you can integrate multiple subsystems, be it access control, be it fire, intrusion, uh, point of sale, ATMs, surveillance as well. So Intellect is quite robust when you're talking of uh, integrating multiple subsystems into one, uh, unified system, so it can have face recognition, LPR, ETC. So Intellect is quite robust and it's a very, very uh, stable product for integration. I forgot I sent you money yesterday as well. There's more money that I can send. So I'll just talk about the VMS part, the Amazon Intellect. You more money than what we put in on the So some features I'll mention, one of it is the AI fire and smoke. So basically, this is a feature we have in uh, Axon Next that uses uh, deep learning. The idea here is that uh, we are able to process the video and uh, retrieve uh, the video suggestion with a short clip as well. So basically, that's how the process works. 
Uh, so fire is detected, smoke is detected, the system gives an alert as well. An alarm is triggered, you get a response. So this area is very good if you're talking about very robust areas, huge areas you cannot deploy conventional sensors. You can use AI for fire smoke detection as well. We also have AI powered human behavior analytics in the product. Uh, so the idea here is that we're able to analyze uh, the exact cause detection, uh, give alerts on uh, social distancing, um, face mark detection. So I can just show you this as well as a short clip, video clip. So this is a human behavior analytics in the product. That's a social distancing violation. Can have of course our ATM tampering as well as a as a trigger as well. Um, you can have man down detection as well uh, using uh, uh, AI as well in the product. Yeah, but I told you that that should be on the amount of the things. Active shooter detection as well. So those are some of the AI powered features that we have in the product. Um, of course, you also have. Uh, on the ETR, digital networks, the of course, for human uh, behavior analytics. So the idea here is that uh, we're able to eliminate false alarms. Okay, Let me just send a, a short okay. video for the same. So what happens in this case is that um, using AI, we're able to filter out false alarms uh, than, uh, than, uh, than usual. So for example, uh, the video on the, on, on the left, you can see is just using standard motion detection, there's so much false alarm from leaves. But if we use AI powered uh, human detection, so we're able to get just uh, filter out the, uh, the, filter, uh, the false alarms and just remain with the human detection. So the product makes it much, much more stable and uh, we're able to eliminate false alarms using the product. Of course, we also have uh, what else can AI do? Um, we can do some custom uh, AI configurations on site. And so that's the beauty of having a uh, surveillance powered by a software because they're able to customize uh, our product on site uh, as opposed to having uh, edge analytics. So what we do, for example, we can do features like um, uh, helmet detection, no helmet detection. So we're able to trigger labs in, in that case. Um, for example, this is for health and safety, a person with a, uh, with a dust coat, not dust coat. So we're able to trigger that as an alarm as well. So uh, if a person has no vest, it will trigger an alert as well. So using AI, we can customize a site and be able to make it uh, adapt to our clients. We also have facial recognition as well in the product. So uh, face recognition engine, of course, is uh, very, very stable. Uh, uh, we can be able to do face search, searching by face. We can do face recognition by having uh, an external database for comparison. So face recognition engine in Axon can be used for so many uh, scenarios, um, be it uh, in terms of positive negative list, uh, be it uh, uh, authentication or using access control as well. So we can use face recognition in very, very multiple ways. Um, we also have latency speed detection as well. So our LPL engine, of course, is uh, very, very stable. Um, we are visiting small, so many countries. It can be within the UAE, uh, African market. So it's a very, very stable engine which I hope you have used. And of course, we can get alerts on mobile app, email alerts. Uh, uh, can get alerts in terms of uh, triggering other subsystems like triggering a relay is etc. Um, of course, we also support uh, other countries, be it Arabic, uh, Ethiopian plates, uh, Amharic plates. So especially in the UAE, we have done so many projects in the UAE. So we also done uh, even a, a safe city project in Sajjah. So we have a huge presence with our engine there as well. Um, another cooperation we have is we have a huge cooperation with Intel. So Intel um, processors are optimized to work uh, with Axon. Uh, so basically uh, during testing, uh, we, have, we are very close with Intel. So because uh, our software, of course, is server driven, so we are not talking, so our software is, uh, is uh, server driven, we're not talking of NVR, so just server driven platform. So our cooperation with the Intel means that we're able to optimize the hardware and have our platform running very efficiently. And that's why we're able to do very huge projects, 100,000 projects in uh, multiple servers very efficiently. Um, 
another feature we have, of course, is a feature called Moment Quest. So basically, here is uh, where we are able to search the archive uh, using um, uh, parameters like color, uh, like its object type, object color, object direction. It is just, I can just show you the short video. You can search. Uh, search by line crossing, select the area, the line we want to search, and then you're able to select the direction, then you're able to search very easily. So what this feature makes you is uh, investigation becomes very, very easy. Instead of just doing a, a playback of the system, you're able to just use the forensic search that we have in the system. Um, you can also uh, be add color, for example, object type. You can classify a human being, a vehicle, a group of people. So it makes our work easy when you're doing video investigations and you have uh, Agzon as a platform because you have so many tools you can use to query your video as opposed to just having a normal conventional VMS that has no uh, forensic features. So you can even have color, for example, as a search feature. So you can add colors for investigation as well. You can see, for example, a uh, red color, for example, then you search again, they're able to identify uh, red objects in the system. So. Uh, use the moment quest we make our work easier when you're investigating in the platform uh time compressor of course is a quick way of doing video synopsis uh using a time-based search so uh, able to capture objects in motion in different times and display them in a condensed video so i'll show you this is a short clip as well so the idea here is that you're able to define the time of interest then able to quickly uh, compress time and be able to see synopsis of video with time frame. So you're very easily able to investigate very fast uh, using the platform. So within our you're able to find uh, these uh, investigation features, which will be very, very uh, needed for, for, for very good investigations. Of course, video all 2.0 uh, is a, a video all feature that we have, which is all software driven. So like I mentioned, this is a video feature that we are, we are using at the Treasury of Kenya project. So basically, uh, here you're able to have multiple screens, uh, all connected to an Axon system. And uh, using an operator, uh, an operator interface, you're able to display, uh, just select the skin you want, uh, put it into the video wall. And all this TCP, uh, TCP IP communication, there's no encoder on site, it's just software oriented. So everything is software oriented. And so this video 2.0, is very good for huge control rooms. As you can see, the projects we're in are very huge. So using video 2.0, we are able to effectively manage a large layouts, many cameras into the system as well. And of course, we have integration with uh, other subsystems, uh, access control being one of them. So we can integrate access control uh, into our zone as well. So we're able to uh, get a time feed of a whole logged in, a concurrent video of the same, so able to plug in access control and detect the same thing into, into surveillance system. So that's one uh, thing that we have within the, the platform. Um, Axonet is a cloud service. Um, basically, what we do with Axonet is uh, we enable our customers to connect a local servers to the cloud. So Axonet is learning on our, on, our, on our cloud. So basically, what we do is we connect your remote sites into, into, into the cloud service. Then we give you access of your cameras using a mobile app, uh, mobile app service using a desktop client, uh, and all these. Uh, there's no fee for ads on it, so it's just connect your local cameras to the cloud service and you access them. And so it's very very efficient for a remote surveillance. So that's how you connect your cameras to the cloud. You just go to the web client. You're able to view your cameras uh, directly on the web. Interact with your cameras. You can zoom the, the same same experience you have when using a desktop client the same same experience you'll have using the web client so there's no difference in using the web and the desktop client you can export you can play back you can you can search forensically using uh, all the action features so the web client really enables you to take your surveillance to the cloud and be able to work with them as well um so I mentioned about the web client. I just the web client has really been enhanced to just have the same experience of a desktop client. So you can search by line crossing, by direction, by object type, by color. So all these ads and features that we experience in a desktop client, we also be experiencing in a web client with the same same look and feel, no changes. 
Um, then we have a new uh, offering we are calling Build Your Own Visas. So the idea here is we are targeting uh, ISP companies and IT companies. So basically here is you are able to build your own business service. So you host Axonix on the cloud. It can be on a local, on a public cloud, it can be a hybrid cloud. See the same same concept you are doing with uh, Safaricom, whereby we are building uh, the largest cloud in uh, in Africa for surveillance. So you have cloud servers. Uh, you connect cloud servers to uh, cameras using multiple ways. It can be direct VPN connection. It can be Axon gateways. It can be um, many many ways of connecting. And so the idea is that we are telling uh, customers they can build their own surveillance as a service platforms. You host our product, uh, send it to your customers, uh, and then you're able to get as a service. So the same same experience of Axonext, but now uh, tweaked and uh, tweaked and to be able to be compliant with the cloud platform. So we, you can deploy it on AWS, on Azure, on uh, Huawei Cloud. So all these cloud platforms, uh, we can work with them very, very efficiently. And lastly, our integration. So like I said, we are really, really integrated into uh, in the market. So camera wise, of course, we have integration with Hanwha on almost all their brands. And of course, all the other brands in the market, which you can think of, of course, we also integrate into them, be it access controls, cameras, fire alarms, intrusion, uh, drones. So we have huge integration in terms of uh, uh, the, uh, and, and the cameras as well. Of course, we also own with partners. So we support all the profiles of own with from uh, SGTL, of course, and uh, all the other uh, uh, protocols in the market as well. Of course, last still a product overview. In Axonext, we have uh, three licenses. We have Axonext Start, which is just a basic entry level licensing for, we're talking of not more than 64 channels. Of course, it lacks some analytics, so but it's very good if you're talking about just a small system uh, with a play, just a, a playback, uh, edge, some edge storage, you can use Axonext Start. Axonext Professional uh, is also a medium entry license. Um, a limited number of channels, uh, limited number of servers, but it lacks some features, doesn't have uh, storage replication, doesn't have failover, doesn't have video wall, doesn't have LDAP integration. If you talk of universe, it's the cream of the product. So universe is the highest uh, level you can go within Axon. It has all the features, be it uh, face recognition, LPR recognition as well. Of course, we have AI features like Moment Quests, which can be as an add-on license or comes as part of Universe. You can also have point of sale, other point of sale integrations. You can do custom AIs for clients, for example, uh, as well in the market. And so, thank you. So that's Axon Soft uh, in a brief, and uh, can respond to any questions if they are. Thanks, Joseph. Uh, there are some questions uh, that has been posted uh, regarding the smoke detection, whether we need a, we can use with a standard camera or we need a special camera. Yeah, I can. Yes. yes, I've seen me and there's uh, see the question from uh, does Axon BMS detect small animals such as cats, um, uh, leaves, trees? Yes, so basically Axon is really powered by a lot of AI. So we do a lot of deep learning in the product. So we're able to customize a site uh, for a client. So let's say the client just wants to minimize, uh, remove pets and remove leaves. So using AI, we're able to fit those, those alerts. So Agon is very, very good at that. There's a question on uh, if we have one or more multiple channels, CCTV, how many lessons does it require? Of course, Agon licensing is one channel, one camera, one license. So, uh, by if it's a multi-channel, of course, it, it depends with how we have integrated it. So, with the integration, if uh, let's say a camera has four channels, of course, at times, uh, even the VMS, those, those also will appear at four cameras. So, but depending on uh, the, the how we integrate with the device, we're able to determine how the recessing will be. But mostly, it's one channel, one camera license. Um, does it have Arabic number plates? Yes. So, in uh, like I said, Axon Soft is really, really strong in the UAE uh, Arabic country. So, we have projects in the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Iraq, Iran. So, we support Arabic plates out of the box. Uh, regarding of Axon product, can we find it through website? Yes. So, uh, you can find uh, you can go to our website, which I'm just typing in there, axonsoft.com. 
uh, from there you'll find everything about our products of course uh, you can also as well um, uh, also as well uh, do as an email of course uh, so typing in my email there actionsoft.com as well and of course after the webinar we'll also send you more information as well um, yes I'll share the presentation um, regarding other product can we even do except so that I is there an issue with NDA no we also GDPR compliant so we have a GDPR certificate from the EU so because um in fact some project we have done like treasury project one of the one of the requirements was uh we should be compliant with the GDPR for some things like uh, masking of the area so we are very very compliant with that does also support just and control such as deco yes we have integration with uh, uh of course, not all products of JSON control, but once you go to our website, we go to see the integrations we have. Um, who is the representative in KSE? And by KSE, you mean uh, Pakistan, maybe? No, it's Saudi Arabia. Ah, Saudi Arabia. So uh, we have a manager called Tariq. So uh, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, we, have a, we have a person called Tariq uh, in charge of UAE. So you can just do me an email and then I'll also link you up with uh, with Alex. So we have a manager based in the in uh, in Saudi Arabia who takes care of that market as well. In, okay. in, the, in, the, in the Middle East, we have a manager in every country, be it UAE, be it Saudi Arabia, Qatar. Uh, so we have a local office in all those countries. So uh, there's one more question for uh, ANPR number plate. Do we need a standard? Do we need uh, AI? analytics no. in the camera or you will okay no so basically the 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 all our features are software oriented so we we are not we are not dependent on the camera brand or so the only thing we 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 need from the camera is the camera feed and then the algorithm will process the rest so anpr is all based on our software so it's our own engine so we don't we are not dependent on the hardware so uh, all our features are software oriented 